I bought another centipede board um, on eBay. Fair price, not great. Uh, the bad part here is it's missing the pokey in the CPU, the 6502. Um, I don't see any other parts missing, but it has the 2-bit score Dux uh, character ROMs. So I've never had those before. So if these are good, then that's worth something to me. But um, I'm going to try to use the game ROMs that are here first. I'm going to install the um, Pokey and the CPU from the board that I got running previously, and uh, we'll start from there. If it doesn't run, then I'll um, I'll install my uh, my Unirom board and try to use it as a debug tool. All right, so this is the first time to power this up. Let's see how it does. Got the five volt light on. Don't see anything smoking. And all we have is garbage on the screen. Let me put it in self-test. All right, so we got nothing, no activity. Try the reset button, nothing. Okay, so the fact that we have garbage on the screen means the clock signal is probably good. Well, it's no doubt. there's no doubt about it. The clock is good. We've got a clock and the sync, so the sync counters and, the, and I think this has a sync prom as well. All that's gonna be good. So it's um, time to switch out the CPU and put um, put the um, Unirom board in and see if we get any different result. All right, so um, just turned it on with the ROM, the Unirom plugged in. We've got um, a constant reset. We do have something different on the screen. Zeros. Put it in self-test if we get something different. Yes, we, we're, we're getting self-test is running now. I hear it beeping. We're getting a single beep, so that means uh, the first RAM in the uh, uh, program, uh, it's gonna be a 2114 RAM in the program RAM area is bad. So one beep. I thought I heard two beeps when I first turned it on. Let me cycle the power and try it one more time. Nope, just one beep. So um, that's where we're going to start with replacing that RAM. I replaced um, H2, which is supposed to correlate to one beep uh, RAM error, and I'm getting the exact same thing. Still one beep. I also decided to remove these ROMs to see if that made a difference, and it didn't. Still one beep. Um, I'm seeing some uh, trash or uh, corrosions, rust, whatever on the pins here. So let me try to clean that up and see if that's causing a problem. All right, so replacing that RAM now gives me three beeps. Three beeps. So the two program uh, RAMs are going to be okay now. And you can see the game is starting to play, but um, we got video problems. So... Let me replace the 2101 for the third beep. Well, um, after replacing the chip that gave me three beeps, I got an error for, for seven beeps, which was this chip. I replaced both of those, and now the game is passing self-test and plays. Um, that doesn't mean that this chip isn't bad. I haven't uh, connected 22 volts to test that. So... Um, Just um, the way it is, uh, limited testing on this test bench. You only have 5, minus 5, and positive 12 volts. But um, my circuit board uh, was very helpful in debugging this. Uh, the light flashes whenever there's a reset, which gives me a you know indication that the program is not running. But um, I'm going to take this board out now and put the um, original ROMs in and see if it will work. I kind of think it won't since it didn't do anything until I plugged this board in. So let me give that a try. Well, I tried uh, putting the original ROMs in and the CPU uh, instead of my uh, ROM board and that didn't come up. So either the ROMs are bad or the sockets are bad. But um, other than that, this board's working great. No problems. Played a test game. Everything's working. Uh, the ducks, eh, I can live with it, I guess. Or I, I can take it or leave it, I guess what I'm saying. The original centipede is good enough for me. That's it for this video.
Thanks for watching.